Hello and welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And, and it's I'm Jeff from Sandy's Organized Chaos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's vlog day today. Hello. Yay. Yay. Vlogs are back. <laughs> wow. Well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but on a related note. <laughs> yes. All right. So I have a few things I want to show you guys today before I get started. I want to do some epoxy combs for the girls. I've been saying I was going to, I've been wanting to do this. For oh, a really? while. I haven't heard anything from any Delilah. of the girls about when this is going to be done. Yes. Are we still doing it? Yes, I know. I've been so busy. <laughs> I feel so bad. But we're doing it today. I'm finally getting started today for their dolls. So. Did you tell Delilah? I did not because I don't want to be her to be like, she are they done? Yeah. Are they done? Yeah. Are they done? Okay. So. <laughs> That's a good plan. Yeah. So that is what I'm doing today with you guys after I kind of discuss a few things with you guys. I know you guys noticed that I hadn't really been here too much. That's but okay. She's been here. I've been here. Here. There. But I'll talk about that more at the end. So you guys stick around to the end to see, to hear a little bit more information about all that. Okay. Anyways. So I do have some mugs here this morning. First, I want to show off my shirt. How cute is that? Wow, look at that shirt. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so adorable. I don't know if you guys get that reference or not, but I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's a small world. But I also got a mug to go with it too. Okay, but I'll make sure to put <laughs> her shop down in the description box for you guys. What shop was that? Uh, that's the Quirky Mouse. The Quirky Mouse. Apparently... So. Um, this is my cousin's shop. It is. And <laughs> she has decided to do her own shop Imagine, now. Yeah. Um, she draws everything herself. Super talented. I mean, and I'm, I'm so proud of her for stepping outside of her comfort zone and doing what she wants to do. Because I remember do, starting what I do and how I felt doing it. But also, like, it was... It was like scary, but also just so exciting to be able to actually do what you love to do. So I'm so proud of her for stepping outside of her comfort zone and to finally start up her little business here. So everything you see in her shop, she does herself. So, so I'll let you guys know that and I'll put it in the description box. And we are so proud of you, Kylie. All right. Anyways, <laughs> I also have my, my cup from Friday that I did with you guys. I had a lot of fun making this. So when I first started making it, it was only purple and blue. Okay. And then Jeff seen it was like, kind of looks like a peacock. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. So that's why I ended up adding that green to it. And I really think that that definitely did it for it. So, and of course a coaster as well. Now I only recently came about with these uh, little rubber bumpers. And boy, I tell you, I like it way better than the cork that I typically put on the bottoms. I like it way, way better. So you guys should definitely give these little bumpers a try if you haven't already. I even added it because I did up this coaster a while back, which this is kind of the inspiration to this cup here. But I did this coaster a while back. I didn't record any of it. I'm sorry. You guys are going to be like, do another one. I want to see how you made it. But it kind of slid around and I didn't like it. And I was like, well, I don't want to put the cork on the back. So yeah, those rubber bumpers definitely saved it. It ain't going nowhere. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this craft that my kids have been waiting patiently for me to do. Yes, patiently. Patiently, so <laughs> <laughs> we got, I got my, I got my, my cup. I'm ready to wake up, prep these tumblers and slay all day. Let's do this. So I bought this kit, oh my gosh, it was a while, it was months ago. <laughs> it's been hanging up in my craft room for quite a while, but I bought it at Hobby Lobby and it comes with all of these great silicone comb. It comes with three separate comb molds. It comes with two like bigger comb molds and then two mirrors. So it comes with all this and then there. it also comes with the two mirrors that you need to be able to uh, do the mirrors after it's all said and done. And I'm hoping that you can buy the little mirrors separately, like extra mirrors. So if you want to make up more that you're able to, because that'd be kind of off-putting if you could only do this like a one-off type thing. You can only do one set of mirrors, you know? <laughs> so we shall see. I'll have to look that up and see if I can buy just the mirror portion for our mirrors. 
But these molds are super cute. It really looks like the top one is a frog, that second one is a cat, and then just like a basic small comb there at the bottom for those smaller ones. And then there is one, there, there's kind of more of extravagant one with the hearts in it. So it, it's, it's a really cute set. I, I really like it. So after I hem and hawed over what I wanted these to look like, I came up, the first set I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bigger comb and a small comb in the same concept. I'm gonna do a rainbow look to these. So the first thing I laid down was red, and then I don't have an orange, so I used butterscotch color. And then of course, from there on out, I laid down my yellow, green, blue, and then a purple. So, and now I have my epoxy already mixed up and ready to go. And I already knew that I didn't wanna put any glitter in this, I just wanted that, alcohol ink to kind of dissipate wherever it wanted to go and kind of have that look to it. So I really, really think this is so adorable so far. And I accidentally put in too much epoxy, so I kept having to kind of scrape off the comb area um, so that way it wasn't covering the comb area because you definitely don't want that, right? That's the whole concept of being able to use it. But I noticed after they sat for a little bit, now that I'm, I'm looking at them here still, uh, the epoxy kind of wicked away off of the the comb pieces all by itself. So that's pretty nice. So again, I'm just gonna kind of take off that extra and move that out of the way so that way it, it's not overflowed too much. And I'm gonna go ahead and work on a mirror next and I'm gonna go ahead and divvy off a little bit of epoxy into a separate cup and I'm going to pour a little bit of fab fabulous, fabulous, there we go. <laughs> this is a completely transparent glitter. But, and it does, it has a white hue to it. So if you use a white base, it's, you know, gonna make it look white, but it is very transparent. So I ended up dropping a bit of this pink alcohol ink just right into my base here, just kind of give it a little bit of color. I thought it would look kind of cool. But this glitter itself, once it shines in the sun, it's going to have like this little holographic shine. So it's almost like it's there, but it isn't. So it, it's pretty cool. I, it's hard to explain. I can't wait for you guys to see it after it gets demolded and see it in the sunlight and what it looks like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on a mirror and brush combo. I'm gonna do that kind of heart one that you guys see on each side there. And I'm gonna use just one solid color. This is Glitter Ghoul, and it's a really beautiful purple holographic. Again, I divvied off some of that epoxy into separate cups, so that way, you know, I could keep going because I still have a couple more combs I gotta do. So it's pretty much just solid uh, glitter in these ones, but a, like I said, really, really beautiful color, and you definitely don't wanna cover up that end piece there. I think you, you can use it to like hang your, your stuff up after you're done really cute so I'm just gonna pour some into this matching comb as well and again uh, I'm using a chunky so I kind of had to help these chunky glitters get down into the comb pieces and just kind of scrape off the extra as I went so that way it wasn't kind of over overlapping over top of those comb pieces but again as long as you scrape it off the best that you can it pretty much wicks away after it starts to cure which is nice and I am using a regular set epoxy for all these so that way everything has enough time to kind of degas and all that no no little air bubbles hopefully <laughs> whenever we go to demold everything now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and that last one up there at the top there, it looks like a frog, like I said. So I put down some green alcohol ink and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of my glitter called bubbles into it because you know it's a frog, he's underwater. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that into there and then I'm gonna pour my epoxy in and then I'm gonna do some dashes of white alcohol ink over top of that as well. And that's pretty much it for that comb there. Now I, I ended up running out of epoxy here, so I wasn't able to do that comb in the middle, the one that looks like a cat. So I'll have to come through and do that another day. Now I am going to let these sit and cure for a few days before I demold them, but I'm pretty certain because the epoxy shrinks a little bit, I'm pretty certain I'm gonna have to come through and, and kind of mound the top or dome the backs of these just a little bit so that way they're not so indented because some of them I did a little too shallow and some I did a, a bit too much. <laughs> But this is how they're looking so far and I just, I'm so in love with every single one of these and I'm so excited to see how these turn out in the end. So I am gonna go ahead and let those cure. They have to, I since I used regular set epoxy, I gotta let those cure. I'm gonna let them cure probably for about three days. Look, I just want them super hard. They so. look amazing. Thank you. I really like this <laughs> long tie-dye one. The, uh, the rainbow. Rainbow yeah. One. yeah, I hope that they like them too. So, Very but cool. we will finish that up next vlog. All right. So, wait, next vlog? Yeah. So, All right. speaking of. <laughs>
<laughs> so speaking of next vlog, yeah, I know you guys noticed I was a little MIA. I just, I was starting to get a little burnt out. And I, I know a lot of you probably have felt that before where you just, you're just doing and doing and doing. And it seems like it's never going to end because not only do, you know, it takes a lot of time to make the videos, but then there's also other things off screen, like the family and, and just everything. And school was about to start and I just, I just needed some time off, but yep. I'm back now. But school's that, back in session. School's back in session. We got some time. I well, so, <laughs> kind of. <time>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that gave me a lot of time to kind of just sit and think about the direction I want to continue on with this channel because I'm so proud of this channel and what I can do to continue to make it grow and everything and. You know, there are moments in time where I really want to show you guys stuff, but it's obviously not Tumblr-related Tumblr yeah, or, or craft-related yeah. whatsoever. So Jeff and I have been hemming and hawing about starting up a second channel where it's more family-oriented. Gosh, for, for a, a while. I want to say over a year we've been, yeah. we've been talking about it. Just, I don't know why we haven't. I, just we should a have. lot of things going yeah. on, and, and you've been dedicated to this channel. I have been. Friday, or Friday tutorials, tutorials yeah. Sunday vlogs, you know, you're working all week. On top of all that stuff, and yeah. Just trying to get everything done. So, but we finally, we made the jump. Yes, we did. I'm sure some of you already know, because we did make an announcement mm -hmm. in the group. We made an announcement uh, through the community tab on YouTube. Yeah. Community tab. Um, but we do have a second channel now. It's called Organized Chaos Crew. Mm -hmm. We'll... Put a link to it down below <laughs> if you guys want to subscribe over there but it's it's, it's gonna, all it's family be, stuff yeah it's gonna be like all kinds of different stuff it's not it's not i mean i am gonna talk a little bit about my business and stuff over there as well uh but it's not gonna mainly be about that because it, it is kind of a branch off this yeah but not too much of this will be going on over there just like I want to try to make sure that not too, I don't show too much more family stuff on here. So that way, you know, for those of you who just want to watch nothing but about that's glitter good. and crafting and tumblers, that's here for you. But if you are interested in not only watching this, you have a place to go to where I'll also be posting as well over there. And that'll be more like all of us. So. <laughs> yep. So Sandy's Organized Chaos, not going anywhere. No. <laughs> Friday tutorials are back. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sunday vlogs. So Sunday vlogs. We've vlog, talked about yeah. possibly maybe every other or, you know, something. So, I, I guess however it feels. I've been finding myself doing more of things I've never done before on my, on my Sunday vlogs. So I still want to keep that aspect of it, of continuing on and branching out and like exploring more crafts with you guys, but not so vloggy <laughs> anyways <laughs> i know what you mean yeah okay thank you i'm sure most of your, your followers know what you mean too <laughs> yeah but anyways so that's why again we started up the second channel that'll be dedicated to everything behind the scenes whereas this will continue to stay craft related but i think that's going to do it for us for today i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day an amazing rest of your week and i'll see you guys next time bye, bye. guys <laughs>